everyone, it's me, Ellie Sparkles and Marshall. We just had a really cool day today. We went shopping for some new back to school outfits and we got some t-shirts. Wanna show the boys and girls out there? Marshall, you only got plain white t-shirts? Oh no. It's okay, because I had a really great idea. We're gonna be making tie-dye t-shirts. Have you ever made a tie-dye t-shirt before, Marshall? Well, did you know that you can use just Sharpie markers to make a tie-dye t-shirt? All you need are Sharpie markers, <laughs> some elastic bands, a dish, and you're gonna have to get an adult for this with some rubbing alcohol. This will make the colors spread. Yes! I'm gonna show you how to make a swirl pattern with your t-shirt, and then we're gonna get right into it. Are you ready, Marshall? Awesome! Give you a big thumbs up if you like tie-dye t-shirts. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get your t-shirt. You're gonna lay it out flat like this. And you're gonna find the center of it. I think around here. Pinch it. And then just twist. Slowly. That's right. Round and round. Sometimes you have to let go and move the t-shirt around a bit so that it doesn't get tangled. And you can just keep spinning and twisting. <laughs> Marshall, that was a really good spin. Ooh, twist and twist and twist. And it looks kind of like a flower, doesn't it? And you're gonna have to hold all this back into the spiral shape. And when you have something that looks a little bit like this, you're gonna get elastic bands. And you're gonna tie it together. So we have one elastic band, like this. Can you stretch out another elastic band for me, Marshall? Another elastic band, like this, so you get something like a plus shape. Another one, like that. It's like a star. And now one last one to complete the star shape. And you should have something that looks like this. Awesome! Now that you have this, you're gonna pick three colors of markers. Because we're gonna be doing the three color marker tie-dye challenge. Isn't that cool? Yeah! Like all three color marker challenges, we have to close our eyes and pick three markers from this cup of Sharpies. You wanna do rock, paper, scissors, shoot, eagles first, Marshall? Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I get to pick my colors first. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to pick this color, this color, and this color. Okay, I'm opening my eyes. <gasps> awesome! I got orange, just like an orange. <laughs> Blue, like the sky, and Marshall's eyes. <laughs> and pink, like my dress. <laughs> Your turn, Marshall. Awesome, Marshall, you got some great colors. You got red, just like your uniform. <laughs> Black, that's also on your uniform. And your spots. <laughs> and green. That's one of your favorite colors, right, Marshall? Now that we have our colors, we can start coloring in our t-shirts. Doesn't this look like a pizza pie with eight different slices? <laughs> no, Marshall, you don't eat it. It's a t-shirt. But you can use these pizza pie slices to color in certain colors. So I'm gonna make this one pink, and I'm gonna make the other ones all the other colors that I picked. That looks really good. That green is gonna be so bright. 
Remember when you're done with one side, you have to do the other side as well. This is gonna take a really long time. Make sure you get really, really deep inside the cracks and the folds. That way your t-shirt is extra, extra, extra colorful. This sure takes a long time, doesn't it, Marshall? <laughs> it sure is fun to color in your t-shirts, but you shouldn't do it with all your t-shirts. You gotta ask your mom or dad for some new t-shirts to do it with, or some old ones that you don't want anymore. Okay, Marshall, let's play a game. I'm going to say something and you're going to tell me what color it is. What color is an apple? Green, that's right. Or it could be red. <laughs> you're so smart, Marshall. Do you think you're the smartest one in the Paw Patrol? <laughs> While I'm almost done with this side, make sure you get right inside the folds. You gotta peel them back. Well, that took a really long time, but I think I'm finally done. Yeah, my hand is super tired too, Marshall. Whew. Let's show all the boys and girls what the t-shirts look like now. Super colorful? But we're not done yet. This is the part where you need an adult. You're gonna take the rubbing alcohol and pour it into your dish, being very, very careful. You don't need a lot. Your turn. And then you just put your t shirt inside the dish and then we'll pour some on top making sure to coat every single pizza slice we're gonna spread it around a little bit gonna flip yours and if you see any dry spots where the color hasn't run you just put a little bit more of the alcohol on so I see there's a little bit here that you need Perfect. It's all around. Okay. Just keep turning and turning and moving and getting all the rubbing alcohol in the shirt. And now all we have to do is wait for them to dry and then we'll open them up and see what they look like. And then you get to decide who has the best shirt. Now that the t-shirts have dried a little bit, we're gonna cut off the rubber bands and see the final t-shirt. I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh. Snip. <laughs> Snip. Cool. Let's pick it up. Whoa! That looks so cool. Look at how colorful they are. Yours looks so awesome, Marshall! I can't wait to wear these! Mine's super bright! Yours is super bright too! Wow, this is gonna look really good for back to school! Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for you to decide. Whose shirt do you like better? Do you like my pink, orange, and blue shirt better? Or do you like Marshall's green, black, and red shirt? Make sure you leave a comment below whose shirt you like better! If you want even more tie-dye challenges, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Marshall, we are so good at tie-dyeing t-shirts. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, it feels like a glue. Oh, it's green glue, awesome. Okay, your turn, Marshall. Ready? You 
got four. Let's see what's behind four. I bet it's gonna be a really, really cool ingredient. That's right. Two, three. What'd you get? Oh, wow, a glitter glue, that's so awesome. And it matches your colors, Marsha. <laughs> okay, let's switch places. And now, I'm gonna get our slime bowls. All right. Ready to put your first ingredient in? Whoa! This is a classic slime color. <laughs> oh my gosh, yours is so sparkly and so jealous. <laughs> It's red like a fire truck. Mine's green like grass or Granny Smith apples. <laughs> Woo! So sticky. All right, time for my second ingredient. One, two, three. What's in here? Whoa, pink glitter glue, this is the best one yet. It's pink just like my dress. Awesome. Okay, Marshall, your turn. What'd you get? One, awesome, you're number one, Marshall. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Shaping foam? That's so cool. That means you're going to make fluffy slime. Okay, let's switch places again. So I got the pink glitter glue, and Marsha got the shaving foam. That's going to be so cool when it comes out. I'm ready when you are. Ready? Let's go. Whoa! I wonder how this is gonna mix together. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of shaving foam, Marshall. <gasps> cool! I think it's time for our third ingredient. And this is our last one. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'll get. I hope it's a good one. It's nine. That's the last number on here. Nine. One, two, three. It doesn't feel like a glue, it feels like oh, colorful balls, awesome. They are so cool and there's so many of them. Okay, your turn, Marshall. It's your last one. Are you excited? Hmm, I wonder what number you're gonna get for your last ingredient. It looks like a three. Okay. Where is that three? Make this a really good punch. What's in there? Cool blue glue, oh my goodness. And you have red glue too, that will make purple. Okay, now let's put our final ingredients in, and then after that, we'll be able to mix it up with some activator and make the slime. Whoa, it looks like candy. I want to eat them. <laughs> Whoa, that's such a pretty blue. Wow. Mine's gonna be a super crunchy slime. Okay, Marshall, wait here while I get our spatula so we can mix, mix, mix. I've got our spatulas and I've got our activator. Here's a red spatula for you, Marshall, because I know it's your favorite color. <laughs> okay, let me just open this up for us. 
I'm gonna put a little bit at a time. Here you go. And after you put the activator in, you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and then it'll magically turn into slime. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Whoa, there's just so many balls in here. Oh, <gasps> wow, yours is like a cloud, Marshall. Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy. Mine has a little bit of glitter in it from the pink glitter glue, but it's definitely mostly green. And yours is definitely mostly blue. <laughs> I can't wait to play with yours, Marshall. I can already hear my slime crunching away. What? That's unbelievable, Marshall. Mmm, it looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> I'm gonna get in there with my hands. Oh, it's so sticky. My slime's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's super stretchy. <laughs> Yours looks like chewing gum. Ooh. Oh, I want to touch yours, Marshall. Oh, wow, it's super soft. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is extra gooey. Oh, super fluffy. Oh. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, you get to decide. Do you like my green colorful ball with glitter slime? Or do you like Marshall's really fluffy blue slime? I definitely want to try and play with yours, Marshall. It looks really sticky though. Oh, it's exactly like chewing gum. Ooh. I definitely wouldn't like to get this on my head. It'll never come off. <laughs> Marshall, I had so much fun making slime with you. You're really good at making the fluffy slime. And this is such a pretty color. Maybe next time you'll do another slime challenge with me. I would give you a high five, but my hands are a little bit busy. <laughs> Until then, boys and girls, keep sparkling. And Ellie, out.